Hi, welcome back. Our topic is finding the future value of multiple cash flows. Previously, we have seen in the last lecture how to find the future value of a single cash flow using the future value formula. So, in this lecture, we are going to use the same formula for finding or for calculating the future value of multiple cash flows. Let's start, dear learner. Before we start, let me write down the future value formula at the top right corner first. We know that future value after n year is equals to present value times 1 plus r to the power n. Let us try to see the procedure how we can apply this formula to find the future value of multiple cash flows. Okay, so the Timeline will be a very good choice for illustrating that. Okay, so this is zero year. Okay, let's say we want to do it for four years. Okay, so it will be two, one, and three year. Okay, so these are years. Now cash flows. I'm not going to show the cash flow now. Later on, um, when I show you the example, then I will write down the amount. For now, let me write uh, CF0 uh, to represent the cash flow in year 0, CF1 to represent the cash flow in year 1, and so on. So it will be CF2, CF3, and CF. Four. I think it would be enough. We do not need to extend any more. Okay, now how can we find the future value? Let's say future value after four year. Future value after four year. What is the future value after four year? Not for only the single amount like CF0 or, uh, or CF2 or CF3, but for all of these. That means CF0, CF1, CF2, CF3 and CF4. So, what is the combined future value after four years? Okay. So, finding the combined future value after four year would be, would not be same as finding the future value of a single cash flow. But it is, it is not difficult at all. It is very easy. Okay. What you have to do is you have to find out the future value of each and every cash flow individually and then add those. To find the total future value okay so now let's see how we can do that so let me think about cf0 first now let us see how we can find the future value of cf0 so for finding the future value of cf0 as we have learned in the previous lecture okay this is a single cash flow so we, ca we have to compound it compound for four years because we have one two three and four years okay that means we have to find fv4 of cf0 is equals to cf0 times one plus r to the power four because it is a four year uh, duration you are calculating the future value after four year so you will get the future value of cf0 now for cf1 you have to do again the same thing okay you have to find the future value after but now it is not four year because cf1 is already in year one so you have to compound for one two three years the future value of this amount will be fv4 equals fv4 of cf1 will be equals to cf1 times one plus r to the power three so the future value of CF1 will be CF1 times 1 plus R to the power 3 and the future value of CF0 will be CF0 times 1 plus R to the power 4. Then the future value of CF2, it is for 2 year, 1 year, 2 year. Okay, so it will be CF2 times 1 plus R to the power 2 because you have to compound for 2 years because CF2 is occurring in year 2 and your future value should be in year 4. Therefore, we have 2 years in between. Okay, and for CF3, very easy. CF3 times because it is only for 1 year. Okay, so 1 plus R to the power 
1. Now what about CF4? It is already in year 4. So you can actually describe it in two ways. You can say that, well, CF4 is already in year 4, so we do not need to find the future value. It is already future value in year 4. Or you can say, no, CF4 times, because it is already in year 4 and we have to find out the future value in year 4, so we have to compound for 0 years. So you can say 1 plus r to the power 0. Now 1 plus r to the power 0, anything to the power 0 is 1 it will be the same amount CF4. Okay, so this is how you can calculate the future value of each and every cash flow individually and then add all this. Okay, so if you sum, then you get the future value after four years for all these cash flows. Okay, CF0, CF1, CF2, CF3, and CF4. Now, we'll try to see an example example of finding the future value of multiple cash flows okay so let me erase all this first for this example the cash flows are given cf0 that means cash flow in year 0 is equals to dollar 10 cf1 is equals to dollar 20 and cf2 is equals to dollar 40 okay now you have to find out the future value after four years okay what is the future value after four years so let us show the cash flows on the timeline okay so cf0 is let me write dollar here that means all cash flows are in dollar okay so the cash flow in year zero is 10 the cash flow in year one is 20 in year 2 it is 40 in year 3 we don't have any cash flow so we can uh, we can keep it empty or we can write zero i prefer to keep it empty and we also do not have any cash flow in year 4 okay so now how can you calculate the future value of these uh, multiple cash flows like before you have to find the future value of this 10 dollar after 4 years future value of this $20 in year 1 after 3 years from year 1 that means 4 years from now and the future value of this $40 after 2 years from year 2 that means 4 years from now okay so how can you do that the future value of $10 will be $10 in year 1 will be 10 times 1 point okay i did not mention about the interest rate so let's say that the interest rate is 10 percent so 10 times 1.10 to the power let us see how many years one two three four so we have to compound for four years to the power four now 20 times 1.10 to the power now we have to see for how many years we are compounding one year two year three year so in that case it will be three and for the last one 40 times one plus r that means 1.10 to the power we, we can see that it is for uh, two years away from year four so we have to do it like this 1.10 to the power two okay now if we use our calculator okay and and sum all these then we get the future value the future value of ten dollar in year zero will be uh, will be according to the calculation it will be fourteen point six four one fourteen point six four after rounding it to two decimal points okay then future value of of the twenty in year one will be twenty six point six two and the future value of the $40 after two years will be 48.4. Okay, so if you add all these, then how much do you get as future value? 89.66. So this is the future value of the multiple cash flows. We can solve the same problem using a table, tabular format. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so we have to list the years here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Method is actually the same, but 
sometimes you may find it useful or more organized to do it in tabular format okay so the cash flows are given here cfn for cash flow in year n okay so cash flow is 10 in year 0 20 in year 1 and 40 in year 2 okay now you can find the future value in year 4 from here okay so for this 10 the future value in year 4 is 10 times 1.10 to the power 4 okay equals 14.64 then it will be 20 times 1.10 to the power 3 equals 26.62 so this is just about the arrangement okay how you present your calculation or how you organize your calculation so this will be 40 times 1.10 to the power 2 equals 48.4 so if you add all this okay then you get because we do not have any cash flow here so let me write the future value after four year here so every four will be equals to if you add this three uh, then you get 89.66 okay so i hope that you have understood how we can use the future value formula although the future value formula was initially uh, developed for uh, for finding the future value of a single uh, amount okay but still you can use this formula to find out the uh, future value of multiple cash flows thank you very much for attending this session i am looking forward to see you again